Hello and welcome to White Glove Reviews. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Muji, M-U-J-I, multi pin, And that's this thing right here. Kind of an interesting looking pin. It's a hex shaped pin. And it's, as you can probably tell from the, the price tag, it's a Japanese pin. The pin itself, if you look at the price tag, apparently retails for 450 yen. And in this case, you can buy the pin either separate. I got this from Amazon. You can either buy it separate or you can buy it as part of like a little stationary kit. And the stationary kit is what I got. And it comes with a pencil and a ruler and an eraser. I'm kind of a sucker for pencil boxes anyway. Any kind of little case to keep things in. Um, if you're interested in this, I'll leave a link in the description for the set that I bought, which was like $19 or $18. And you can also get the pin separately for about six or eight dollars. I'll include a link to both of those down below. I'll also include a link to the Muji, 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 M-U-J-I, the Muji, Muji, the online store for Muji. If you want to check out like refills and that kind of thing. Now, in this particular multi pin, it has six different colors and has. Black, blue, light blue, orange, pink, red, and black. And I can tell you already one thing I do not like about this pen is I do not like the fact that one of the one of the things is the clip. Like the black ink, I, I don't like I don't like the black ink being in the clip. But let's let's take a look at this. And I'll try out the ink on normal printer paper, and we'll also try out the ink in a moleskin journal and we'll see how it looks with the white paper versus the cream color paper of the moleskin journals all right so let's see let's try this out and this is the m u j i the muji six color multi pen all right so the first color is black it writes pretty good. It's kind of a fine point. It's a it's a fine point ballpoint. I think it's 0.7 millimeter ballpoint. So it's pretty fine ballpoint. If you can, if that'll focus in. So that's the black, and we'll try the black over here. Six color. Uh, multi. It writes pretty nicely. I, I enjoy. I'm enjoying writing with this. So the first color is black, and we have that. It writes nice and smooth. And again, I don't like the clip being part of it. I think I would give up the extra color to not have to deal with the to not have to deal with the clip. So the next color will be red. So this is the red ink. The red looks pretty good. Nice color red. And here's the red over here. Not bad. Looks respectable. Oops. Looks respectable. So pink. I'm excited to see how pink looks. Pink ink is kind of hit and miss sometimes. Pink. Kind of a pretty bright color pink. Not bad. And pink over here. Make a better square. That doesn't look too bad. Uh, orange. That orange is kind of faint for me. It seems like the orange would probably be better as like a highlighter color, that kind of thing. I don't think I would primarily write in orange. Orange. Yeah. 
Orange is probably going to be like a highlighter color as opposed to primary color to use. So orange, light blue. All right, so light blue. Light blue doesn't look bad. I can see writing with light blue. Again, doesn't look too bad. And the last one is normal blue. For my purposes, I'm just gonna call it blue. So blue doesn't look too bad. This blue actually looks really good. I like this blue. So you got blue and blue over here. Hmm. Doesn't look bad. Now, as with most of the Japanese multi pens that you'll run across, if you are so inclined, you can get replacements for this one. And although this one doesn't look like it has any way to unscrew it, it actually does unscrew, like so. And all you do, if you want to replace it, is you pop out the color you are no longer interested in, like so, and just pop in a new color. And I don't know if you can see down there in there, but it just slides in. Like so, and you just you just push it down until it fits in. Really easy to swap out. If you have any questions or suggestions, or if you have one of these pens and you love it or hate it, please leave a comment down below. And if you have any other cool multi pens that I should try out, because I gotta tell you, I am a fan of these multi pens. Just leave a comment down below. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And thank you, and I hope you have an excellent day.